these are depicted here uh, in yellow, which refers to our public docks uh, here on the Fort Plaza up at North Point and our visiting motor program, um, and then also the public access areas. This is technically city ownership, but we do maintain it, so it is referenced here along the shoreline connecting down towards Peace, Peace Point Park, uh, all of the shorelines up to the tip at North Point, and then the Port Plaza, which connects to Percival and the Boardwalk, and ultimately to the State Capitol Campus. Uh, we have about 15 acres of public space within the plazas and the shorelines and the green space uh, currently in our planning area, and that is a sizable area that's been set aside for, um, again, access to the water and for public enjoyment. Uh, and I think that when you walk, you'll get a flavor for what does that mean in terms of the marina and the other, the East Bay and the other properties. Uh, in addition, uh, a little bit of something that we wanted to get a better understanding of is under the current Shoreline Management Act, of course, we have a 200 foot area that is uh, depicted here by a yellow line. So we wanted to visually overlay that and see what are we talking about in terms of actual port property that's under uh, the Shoreline Management Act. And recognizing that some of this, of course, is marine use and therefore you know, at, at zero setback, what does it look like uh, for the 15 feet or 30 feet, if 30 feet was being contemplated, uh, and if we've also identified a 100 foot line just to kind of be able to visualize what does that mean and what does that look like. And I think it's important to recognize that uh, for East Bay, uh, as we went through our citizen process in 2003, 2004, we heard the desire to retain that public access. The commission was looking at modifying the road network, maybe taking advantage of development closer to the water because they've heard a strong interest in residential and other things, but the commission held firm that the waterfront would be protected and basically incorporated through the road network for this property, a 100 foot setback by default by having the roadway come through here. In addition, when we negotiated the agreement with the city for the Hansel Children's Museum, we put restrictions on the height for the Children's Museum. So that again, we can encourage that visual corridor and preserve that. So where we've been able to and where it makes sense for the project, we have looked at how can we protect that. Having said that, where it is marine dependent, where there's limited space available, we also want to look to achieve the densities and the economic opportunities. So we're balancing and looking at those as we look at each of the development opportunities. Um, also depicted here is a flavor of what are we talking about in terms of shoreline. If you take uh, the port boundaries, we have 6,900 feet of lineal feet of public shoreline, and that's public access shoreline. And because of um, homeland security, we have limited access on our marine terminal. That's about 2,700 feet of limited access. It's restricted, um, but uh, is for shoreline property. So we'll provide copies of that in the packet uh, for Wednesday's walk around, but I thought it would be helpful to give you a little bit of perspective on the peninsula of what we're talking about. So jumping down to East Bay, uh, hopefully you've been uh, watching and monitoring uh, where we are. Uh, we have, um, of course, uh, recently closed on transactions to the Lot Alliance for future plant expansion, and with that, a great partnership from Lot and working with us on the plaza. And as I mentioned, this was a key piece of information we heard from the public in our outreach was maintaining public community gathering place features that would allow for an exciting center to the development, but also allow the community to have access to their, to their uh, properties and connecting that, the connectivity to the other properties at the court. Um, so we've completed the transactions a lot uh, for both their plant expansion, their educational facilities, and the plaza, and also to the city for the Hands-On Children's Museum, which are here. And we have uh, remaining uh, parcels, five or eight, actually six, seven, depending on how we divvy it up, parcels remaining for development. We have been actively negotiating with Tarragon, a Seattle-based developer, for the last year uh, in an exclusive negotiating agreement, calling 
out the terms that were identified in our request for proposals, as well as letter of intent, and are currently working through a master development agreement. And I say that we've been doing this at a time where the market is in crisis uh, and a very challenging environment to be talking about development. So we're thrilled about the momentum that we have. Uh, we know that the conditions are such that this is going to be a long-range effort to see it actually come to fruition, but we feel that we're on, tra on track with that great project, and we're looking forward to exciting things to come uh, at the East Bay Properties. This is just a concept, but if you wanted to um, have a chance to get a better sense of what's included there, uh, I mentioned the lot uh, educational facility, their future expansion, the connectivity between their educational facility, the plaza and the museum's educational facility, parking for the museum, future development here, 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 and here. We also have just recently opened up a connector street, which we think is going to be great for traffic and transportation flow. Uh, it was important that we provided that since this remains our primary transportation corridor to the working waterfront and marine terminal. So that led to a need to protect some of the uses, uh, not having residential here, and uh, allowing for, thanks to the city, um, uh, the opportunity to not only change our land use, but also to work with you on getting a level playing field so that it can encourage residential along the state and other area. I'm going to pause before I leave. If there's any questions on East Bay, or, I, or we can hold questions until another time if we're short on time to get through this this evening. Chair? What's the, what's the status of Shell Station and what is the that? That's a good question. Um, we did offer up this parcel here, which is currently a gas station, to the developer. Um, there are a couple of things that we're evaluating. One is that we paid a premium for that property, and knowing that it's going to take time to develop, uh, I think the desire has been to start at the core. So we don't envision seeing that developed near term. We see it happening later, which is good for the port for our constituents because it will give us more time to return on the investment we've made through the lease arrangement that we currently have. So I would speculate that we'll see this as a gas station for several years, um, but it is certainly part of the mix uh, to be considered for redevelopment. Um, and we've heard uh, uh, from the public through our open houses and also from the developer that this is the prime candidate property for a residential uh, again, along State Avenue and transitioning to the residential that currently exists across the way. Are you aware of any contamination problems in that area? We uh, addressed those when we went through the acquisition. So we actually have worked with the Department of Ecology and we're in a good position. We've already remediated and we have, uh, this one is actually separate from the rest of the agreed order of properties that we're currently negotiating with the State Department of so we're in a, a good position for this one here. Okay, um, let me jump over to the market district and hopefully you've all spent enough time uh, at the market that you're familiar with the mix of uses that we have. Um, the market and the development Anthony's and the marketplace share parking in the area and that was again our goal to minimize parking rather than having parking for each development we would have shared parking that would support those activities. I don't think